Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome. I'm going to do a general read for you today, looking at your current energy, your desires, the outcome. What's working for you, what you need to be aware of. I've had cards jump out like crazy this week. Uh, what you need to be aware of. <clears throat> Let me start over. We're going to do a general read. We're going to look at your current energy, your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. We'll clarify all of those cards. Once we've clarified those cards, we'll pull three more cards around the end of the read just to make sure that we have everything. Current energy, King of Pentacles. Somebody's feeling successful, <clears throat> very grounded. The desire is the moon. So maybe a bit of a challenge, maybe trying to figure something out. Uh, this is Pisces energy. Uh, King of Cups, or sorry, Knight of Cups is in the outcome. So some type of romance, somebody's taking action or it's coming in or going out. The Empress is what's working for you. The Empress is that individual that is got a lot of potential. They, this could be um, marriage. This could also be pregnancy <clears throat> for some of you. Excuse me. The Nine of Cups shows up. And this shows up in the area of what you need to be aware of. Beware of success. And under the King of Pentacles, it seems like you're resting. Uh, you're healing. But I almost get that you're also on guard for anything that's sort of changing with the Seven of Swords here. That there are things that may not be to your liking going on. But you're okay because things just seem like you're just going more with the flow rather than actually combating it. So the moon. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles does show up again. Interesting. So that one spoke, speaks of balance. So the moon is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and Five of Wands. Um... This seems a balance right now that you're looking for. Your desire is to balance action and thinking. So being very, very cognizant of what you want to do before you're taking action. It seems like, you know what, I'm... the moon is there going, hey, you know what, I don't all know all the things around this, but rather than wind up scrapping it out, I want to think my way through this. I want to limit as much delay as possible. The outcome is the Knight of Wands. So maybe this has to do with the relationship down here. But, sorry, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. So, if this is you taking action towards somebody, underneath it, it looks successful. It looks like it's a new start for you. It's a new thing to work on. And... The Ten of Cups is there, that there is a commitment that could be had here as well. The Empress. This seems that as you're looking to the future, maybe you've actually had a future and a past within this individual, and justice is here to balance uh, those out to bring you into the present. The Nine of Cups. Nine of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. There's success here. Uh, and you need to be aware of it because there is a direct match here. Uh, you're almost there with this individual. Um, with the Nine of Wands. Like, it's... Keep going. Keep going is all I can say. Success is to be had. Oh, the lovers, the three of wands, and the queen of wands shows up. <clears throat> you can see that there's love here. You're very, very well aware of it. And this could be you, this could be them with the queen of wands, but this is um, somebody's being busy, um, 
working on this or busy creating in their head all of these types of things or taking action. Capricorn, really nice read for you guys today. Uh, for those that are new to the channel and have not subscribed, I would invite you to do so. Best of luck with this week. Feel free to give me a thumbs up or thumbs down on this. But we will talk to you next time. Stay safe. 